Now let's come back to the type of encryption and why are they important. So the first one is encryption at rest and the other one is encryption at flight. So you need to understand why these are important because when you work on the security aspects of the data as an architect, you need to think 100 times as to what are the most feasible ways to implement them. So when you think of data at rest, you should think in terms of the data which is stationary like it might be stored in your file system or block storage or any data storage that you have which appears to be at rest. So understand the meaning from the concept itself like encryption at rest it means which is stationary like it might be stored on your file system or block storage or any storage service that you have and encryption at flight or transit so you might be already able to relate to this like taking a flight to travel to one place to another and similarly here as well encryption at flight applies to data that is being sent or which is being traveling from one point to another so let's suppose I am sending you the data and you are using a form of application that we are interacting with. It's not that I'm sending it on a wire so that you'll collect it at the other end. It is going over the internet, isn't it? So that becomes a data that is in transit or it is at flight right now. It is going from one point to another. So that type of encryption is called encryption in flight. So encryption in flight. Here you see when we send our data or message over to someone else over another application or another application, the data is protected using the secure communication channel, which in theory cannot be breached in between the starting and the destination. Let's switch to the application based. Here we are using SSL encryption as the data is transmitted and decrypted using the same, making the channel secure to communicate. And that is why it is called encryption at flight. So let's suppose you're using this application, same application, and you are trying to send a message to this application too. So over the internet, it has to be secure. So here we are using SSL encryption for the data or the encryption in flight. So remember, whenever you see a question or concept in AWS, which talks about encryption in flight, think about SSL TLS. And when it comes to encryption at rest, if we see the biggest difference here is that the data with user one is encrypted. So if it has to send it across to someone else, it can share the encrypted data without having to worry about it being read due to the man in the middle attack. So if you see the man in the middle right now is John who wants to read the message, but all he is getting is an encrypted format of the message. The only members who can read that text are the ones who have the key to decrypt it. And that's why or that's how you secure your data at rest. And having said that, even if someone tried to get access to the data at rest, they won't be able to read it either because it is already secure until and unless they have the key. So if they have the key, you're done and dusted. But if they don't and you have encrypted your keys, nothing to worry about. So I hope you got the idea of how different encryption at flight and encryption at rest are.